Along with talk of great plays, there's also talk about Hockey Canada's future at local rinks right now. I think a new name, a whole new regime, everything, right? I think they should just get rid of the whole thing altogether, really. It's definitely going to end up having to be a mentality and a change, and I think that comes with uh, more than just one person. He's talking about Interim Hockey Canada Board Chair Andrea Skinner. She resigned this weekend after controversial testimony. Our board, frankly, does not share the view that senior leadership should be replaced. On Skinner was speaking at a parliamentary committee meeting over Hockey Canada's handling of sexual assault allegations and funds used to settle them. To scapegoat hockey as a centerpiece for toxic culture is, in my opinion, counterproductive. A view not shared by many. That's just another example of, of, of the old guard thinking that they own our game and they control everything that happens in our sport. Former NHLer Akeem Aliou says Skinner's resignation barely begins to deal with the changes needed. And until we can get new blood, um, some innovative thinking, and just a new perspective of where the game should go and just to get with the times of what's going on in 2022, we're not going to be able to see any tangible change. This is now the second board chair they've lost in two months, and the executive leadership team remains intact. There are renewed calls for President and CEO Scott Smith, who took over in July, but has been a leader in the organization in different capacities for decades, to testify again before the House of Commons committee, as sponsors have fled and local hockey organizations examine next steps. We have to acknowledge, though, that there has been an undercurrent that has existed in the dark corners of our sport. The entire country is just now finally talking about the unspoken, Susie, Hockey Canada was supposed to elect a new board next month, but that's changed. Yes, that has now been delayed until December 17th, and that's to allow the review of a report by the retired Supreme Court Justice Thomas Cromwell. He's looking into the governance structure of Hockey Canada, and that will allow them to potentially implement any changes he might recommend. Meanwhile, pressure is mounting on the organization as the premiers of New Brunswick and Nova Scotia say they want to see significant changes before they host the next World Junior Tournament. Ian? Thanks, Susie.